Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Got a fun, easy craft fair project or gift item for you today. It's um, part of, I guess, a series. I did a bunch of these for Halloween for craft fairs and they sold really well. This little dude is my popping snowman. But right now my Dollar Tree has two black pears for a dollar or black and red for a dollar. So that's where I got my gloves, my popcorn. I've decided to go with Costco. I love Pop Secret Homestyle personally, but I was only finding it at best price about 35 cents a bag, but the Kirkland one is not bad. Um, you get 44 bags for like 9.99, so it's like 23 cents a bag, and it's not bad popcorn. So we're, my popcorn came from Costco. While you're getting here in here, I'm going through some of the sources. Hey, Jackie. I've got my magic stretchy gloves. I'm gonna put one on, and then I'm gonna put the other one on over it. So this treat, they're getting a popcorn and a pair of gloves. So it's a great little gift item. When you put both gloves on one hand like that, then pop them off, and there's your the beginnings of your hat. So there's that. I also have a piece of fleece here. Um, this one, I believe, is so. This one is 18 inches. Okay, so one inch wide, 18 inches long, and I get the blizzard polar fleece when Joanne's puts it on sale cheap. Hey, Lisa. So then, when you add those little guys together with a cute face. A little punch art and a tag makes a really fun winter gift. These sell great at craft fairs, at least they did for the Halloween season. If you missed the Halloween series, there's a ghost, a jack-o'-lantern, a Frankenstein, and a um, vampire, like a Count, Count Dracula, at, on the blog, kitchentablestamper.com. And let's just buzz through the Stampin' Up! supplies now that you need to make this. So we got our treat. Oh, I do have a couple of other little things. I've got some elastic, silver elastic thread. I use that to tie on my tag. Um, Stampin' Up! supplies for this include the To Every Season bundle. I love this To Every Season bundle. You can dress up any little gift, any little um, box, any little gift card holder for throughout the whole um, winter and even into the spring season. You've got your fall leaves, great for this Thanksgiving time of year. We're gonna use a little snowflake. Now the leaf, this little leaf punches with the leaf from the punch pack. The two every season punch pack is these four little punches. We're gonna use this little snowflake today and punch it out with the snowflake. And there's the hearts into the Valentine season, the little punch for the heart. And then the bat. If you've been watching me in the Halloween crafting season, I use this bat a ton. So the four the four punches are included in the two every season punch pack. Or every season punch pack, I think is what that's called. And then the two every season stamp set is a 23-piece photopolymer set that coordinates. And when you bundle these two items together, you save 10%. All right, so there's our bundle. We're featuring, we're just going to use the snowflakes. I'm going to move these other little guys away. I just wanted to show you how great this bundle is. Uh, you need some more punches. It's punch art after all. So I've got a half inch circle punch, a three quarter inch circle punch, a three and a quarter inch circle punch, and then my starburst punch. I love this punch. And our ink for this project. I chose blueberry bushel to coordinate with my fleece. So that's going to be optional whatever color you want to stamp in that kind of coordinates with your the fleece of your choice uh let's see here embellishments i showed you at the very beginning got some basic jewel rhinestones and my ribbon is the metallic edge silver metallic edge ribbon then let me show you a couple other things here i've got scraps and I literally just grabbed my scraps to finish this up I've got one of these guys left to make I've got pool party and pumpkin pie I've got real red and basic black 
and truly I'm gonna put scraps on the project sheet this is a great project for using up your scraps um, I have a sheet of whisper white cardstock we're gonna wrap our little snow dude in whisper white and then I have a second sheet of whisper white here that I've already printed the popping by with a holiday high page this page is um, already done I'll have it on the blog for you in just a little bit you can punch 12 of these little popping by with a holiday high tags from one page and it'll be there as a PDF printable for you so we've got our page with the popping by with a holiday high let's go ahead and pop one of those out with a one and three quarter inch circle punch and then we can set this aside and this punch we're done with that one so there's that dude now I'm gonna do my stamping real quick too that'll give it a second to dry there's not much stamping in this project I'm just gonna take my blueberry bushel my little snowflake because it's such a little tiny design and stamps well I don't have my stamp and pierce mat that's okay but with photopolymer you generally want one but look what a clean image I got blueberry bushel on pool party let's go ahead and wrap the popcorn I'm gonna take some tear and tape and we're gonna just lay the paper over the popcorn and I like to off center a little bit this Kirkland one is a little bit taller it seems than my pop secret one so I just off center so that my hat is gonna cover that excess red packaging and then we're just gonna roll the cardstock right around the popcorn and because the popcorn is like an even kind of a um I don't know it's not really square it's got rounded edges and it's kind of uneven you just roll you don't fold or anything and then I just pull a strip of tear and tape down if you saw me do the ghost this is exactly that and there is our wrapped popcorn and now this is wrapped just tight enough so that it stays but you want to be able to slide the popcorn out of the bottom I've really found that people after you give them something so cute they don't want to tear it open a lot of times they don't want to tear it open they want to be able to open it without ruining it so I do make them so that they slide gloves go on top and I always put my gloves and my scarf on before doing my face so I know how much room I have for my face. So we've got our two gloves. If you missed that at the beginning, we put them on one hand. So you get a pair of gloves and pull over the top. So now we know about where our face can fit in. Same with our fleece. Let's go ahead and tie our little scarf around his neck. Now, if you've seen the little soft soap snowmen that I do for craft fairs, this is exactly my soft soap snowman he's super simple um, I do have a video of this year's soft soap snowman coming give it a little stretch <laughs> this guy could use a little stretch see it gives him a little a little shape at the end of the scarf there all right so now we can see where our face is gonna have to sit where we've got room for our face and start building his expression I'm going to grab my silver edge metallic here this little white with the silver edge ribbon and I'm gonna cinch up all these fingers I tie it right off the spool and I'm gonna just tie a knot here all right and pull that away from the spool Oh, I got a pair of scissors that's for ribbon and one that's not. And the paper scissors have been around so long that they just bounce off a ribbon. Do you guys have any scissors that just bounce off of ribbon? All right, let's tie this up in a bow. I like that. I like them to be kind of generous bows. They're part of the attraction. The fest, the festive look is that that great big flouncy bow. I love clearance rack ribbon. I'll show you this one. I did this one with the red gloves and this um, gray ribbon was on clearance rack not too long ago. So be on the lookout. This season is when the 
clearance rack usually refills. So um, look out for that because I do like to be very generous with the ribbon on these. It's part of the the um, festivity, the, the festive look. After all these snowflakes I've done, I forgot to tell you that and then do it myself. Punch out your little snowflake. Got popping by with a holiday high and our snowflake. We're almost ready to go here. Okay, so let's start working on his face here. And we're going to start right with the hardest part. I'm going to start with the nose. And here's what I do. I take a strip and cut an angle. Take a big triangle. Then I round the end. Now it's a carrot nose because I'm going to just turn it into a triangle. Then I'll round the corner some more. And once I got one that looks like a perfect little baby carrot, then I write template on it and I never have to do that again. <laughs> so that's how my nose started. And then I've got my little template nose and it actually has some snail adhesive on the back that I've pressed against to get kind of linty. So then when I do the next one, it says template on the front and it's got kind of a light stickiness to it. So all I have to do is put it on the pumpkin pie paper and it says template and it's lightly sticky. And then I just go along and I cut right around it. But because it's only lightly sticky and says template on it, I can, after I've cut around it, take the template, put it back in the bag where I keep all my little snowman paraphernalia, because I make lots of these. And then I've got a nice fresh nose every time. And they can have a little character. Carrots aren't perfect. So just own it. Make yourself a template if that helps you to own it. And then you're all good to go with the snowman nose. And that snowman nose will work perfectly when you're doing the soft soaps that you're gonna see soon. All right, got a scrap of real red. This guy's gonna have a real red starburst. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit, punch one of those. And basic black. We need some pieces. And I really love to just use up those misfits. So we're gonna do mouth. You can do one, you can do three, you can do four, you can do five, whatever you want for your mouth. The half inch circles will make up the little coal lumps for the mouth. And then for the eyes, you need two three quarter inch circles. All right, so now I'm going to dry fit the placement for my face. You can see this carrot nose is a little fatter than that carrot nose. It gives him character. <laughs> see, now he looks like he's whistling. You can give him three little lumps for his mouth. That's not bad. Four is pretty cute. You can do five. Make him have a really big grin. And just scribble a little bit on the back, put a few pieces down, then a little burnishing. It goes really pretty quick. Cutie. Now, here's where I'd usually grab my chalk marker, but my daughter did the eyes on these for me, and she used a little um, Sakura... I forgot what this one is. It's a glaze pen, so the little Stampin' Up! chalk marker works good for this too. I'm just going to put a couple little dots in the black for the eyes. And this one's a glaze pen too, so it starts out kind of milky and then dries wider. So it's a little tricky. A little chalk pen's so much easier. Draw a little reflection in the eyes. Watch, it'll start to come turn white as you're watching. It's a weird pen. But once something started one way, I have to keep it that way. All right, multi-purpose liquid glue on popping by and we'll center it in our red starburst punch. And we're gonna make it a tag. Got between, I don't know, six and eight inches of some elastic thread here. I'm gonna go through the back of my tag with a folded piece. So I've got the loop from the back to the front. And then I'll stretch up and grab the tails, pull them through. 
Then with one of these, I'm just gonna slide it behind the knot that we made for the ribbon. And I'll pick it up here on the other side. And give yourself as much room as you need here. Elastic thread is inexpensive because now you need to tie a little thread knot to keep the tag on. And so you wrap around your index finger and then pull the tails through that loop you made around your index finger. Trim off the excess. There it is. He's coming together really cute, isn't he? All right, different from his brother. And see what I mean about his eyes? That glaze pen is just a weird creature. I've got a little mini dimensional. Let's, we're back to where we started from. Pop on the back of the snowflake. Pop the snowflake up right by the bow. And then because the silver ribbon isn't enough bling, I got one of these rhinestone basic gems. Pop it right in the center of my snowflake. And there's our popping by with a holiday high. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. If you're local, come see me at Rolling Meadows High School or come to Paper and Ink Cards on Monday night. Bye, guys.